Hello everybody, White Rabbits, it's the 1st of February, it's Saturday and it is half past ten. Um, Rick and I went out to um, dinner with um, lots of Rick's old work colleagues and they put a pantomime on as well and uh, we had a really fun evening met lots of his colleagues we had a good night and uh, it was just a really nice really nice evening we've you know we don't very, we're not um big um drinkers either but well I don't drink anyway but you know we're not big drinkers and we enjoy our, our own company really we're a bit boring <laughs> and it's but we had a really nice evening it was lovely um our friend Paul's come this morning and had a look at the bedroom and um so we've booked him in for doing a uh, plastering the bedroom for us so that's that's all sorted and booked and, and everything um, and today I'm going to be doing um, a, um, a video, mixed media video and I've got blog posts to write up um, I joined um, the um, Christmas card club so every fortnight I got a Christmas card um, going live on my blog and that's going live tomorrow and only got it made yesterday so I need to write up photograph the card and, and write the blog post up and uh, ready for tomorrow so I've got that to do today and um, I remembered that I don't, I'm not sure if you remember I made this steampunk canvas and I did say on my um, in the video that to nominate people and um, my friend Jane she nominated Emma Goddard um, who has a Facebook book group called All, All Things Crafty I think it's called let me just say I'll just double check yeah All Things Crafty and um, she she has a group so um that's who I've decided is going to get the canvas, Emma, Emma Goddard. So I need to uh, contact her and uh, get um, get her details and get that sent off to her. Um, there's a magpie outside on the tree. My kitty cats are out. Rick's just gone out in the garden because actually it's dry. It's not raining so far, so good. A little bit of blue sky. Um, it's uh, not quite as cold as it has been and um, tomorrow I'm going to nip and see my cousin Jill um, for coffee and that I go and catch up with Jill and see how things are with her and her family and grandchildren and whatever and then um, I try not to craft on a Sunday if I can help it so I'm, I'm having a day off and next week is going to be all about um, doing stuff for my blogs for my blog because um, um, I need to get ahead of myself because I'm going to be away the week after and uh, that so um, the usual my dad's and whatever and I lost £2 this week um so uh, yes yeah, so I've got a, bit, uh, a busy a busy day today I've got quite a bit I want to do and next week I'm going to be um doing some um doing some more coloring with my ink lily pens and um just basically getting stuff done to be honest I've um yeah so uh, I'm going to go and see my friend Jen on Monday so, yeah, so Monday I'm going to see Jen, Tuesday I'm having a day of crafting, Wednesday is my dad's, Thursday is slimming and Friday is going to be another, after the housework and everything is going to be another crafty day, so I'm going to get all that done and uh, 
<coughs> excuse me. So uh, yeah, so I've got a busy week planned. Um, so I'll catch you all sometime this week. Well hello everybody, it's me. It's Saturday and it's the 8th of February and it's 22.11. Rick's outside in the garden. It's a lovely, more, lovely bright sunny morning but by God it's chilly. Um, it's been minus one, minus two here. First thing in the morning. Couple, um, so I've not really done any crap. Well, I did, went to my friends on Monday and I was teaching her how to do acrylic pouring. And then Tuesday, um, my, um, um, I saw some of my samples on creating craft for uh, imagination crafts. And I got some, I made some um, cards. And then Wednesday, um, we went and did our shopping, did my dad's shopping, and went to see my dad, and did all the bits and bobs. So I've not really crafted since Tuesday. I've just not, I've been in a funny old mood this week. I just can't explain it. Anyway, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, I think my mojo's gone on holiday. Thursday went to weigh in and I remained the same. And then yesterday, Rick and I took Dad out um, for a couple of hours just to uh, get him out the house and that. So uh, that was good. We had, uh, when um, my dad and Rick get together, they take the mickey out of me, the pair of them. They both gang up on me. <laughs> the sods they are, little monkeys. So, but the, yeah, so we had, uh, and then yesterday afternoon, um, we went to Costco with my dad and um, I can't tolerate milk anyway at Costco they do a Costa co Costa coffee they do uh, almond milk so I did ask for an almond milk latte which I thought was almond milk but apparently it wasn't because last night I spent most of the night being poor being sick so oh, I was not impressed. So, and then um, I kind of get indigestion. Like um, I've got reef. I suffer with reflux. And oh my god! Do you know what time I went to bed this morning? Five o'clock. Because it's no use me getting into bed. So I sit and have a, a cup of pe peppermint tea, and I just have to sit and wait for it to sort itself out five o'clock I finally got to bed and I was up at nine o'clock <laughs> so I'm rather tired today um today I've just got one video to do and I'm picking the winner for January's yarn giveaway I'm going to get that done and um, I've got Rick's anniversary card to do I've not done that yet which is very naughty um, and I'm hoping to get some, um, make a start on, uh, well, do some colouring tomorrow with me in Clearly Pens. Pardon me. So, uh, that's, and then, uh, Monday, my friend Jen's coming here. Gonna have a crafty play day. And then Tuesday, gonna be stripping everything out the bedroom except for the bed plus I've got a pack because we're going up to our mo eye mouth on Wednesday <laughs> I can just see George me put one of my pussy cats just walking along the boundary of the garden on the fence so it's funny <laughs> fluffy is very much my, my white you've seen fluffy um, she's very much my cat. She's very much a mummy's girl. And she'll walk over Rick to get to me. And George is very much daddy's boy. And um, Fluffy never bothers with Rick. But when he's out in the garden and he's, you know, digging, you know, pl 
panting or whatever and he's on his knees and he's you know kind of hunched over she'll sit on his flipping shoulder <laughs> or on his head <laughs> she's a monkey she helps him giving him instructions so while she's on his shoulder she's kind of telling him where he what she wants the plants to go <laughs> It's um, Tiggy, my face cat, um, I lost her a couple of years ago and we buried her in the garden and every now and then Fluffy will go and lie on where we've put F Tiggy um, so quite sad, quite sad, I still miss her, still miss me, still miss my Tiggy She was a little monkey too. And George is, oh, George is a little Tinkerbell. But he, George has got, on his tail, he's got a permanent hook at the top of his tail. It never, it never straight, ne never straightens. He's got a permanent hook. And uh, it's just, <laughs> it's just a little monkey. But uh, he loves his daddy. I love him too. But he loves his daddy more and he gets jealous. What night was it? I was really feeling the cold the other night. I think it was Wednesday night and I was sat on my chair. Fluffy's on my knee and he comes up and snuggles on my leg. So I had, I had two hot water bottles. It was quite nice. <laughs> Warmed me up. Even with the heating on it, it just felt I just felt it went really 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 cold uh, I was outside yesterday afternoon I was talking to my neighbour and the wind oh my god you could cut me with a knife with it it was bloody freezing so that's me waffling on I'm hoping while I'm away to get a couple of video footage while I'm away up in Alimouth because I've never been there before and we're going to the northern post tip in the UK where you you, you know you it's not guaranteed but um, fingers crossed we get to see the northern lights so we'll see but uh, it's just nice just for Rick and I to go away and have a break um, and that so um, I'm looking forward to that oh so I'm going to catch you next time. Hello everyone, welcome to uh, today's vlog. Um, went to uh, Thursday, it was uh, our 21st wedding anniversary and on Wednesday we went to, up to Eyemouth in Scotland and we went to Ab's Head on the Wednesday night and the stars were amazing. We saw Orion's Belt, the plough, and I saw lots of shooting stars. Boy, was it cold. It was absolutely freezing. Um, but it was just nice for Rick and I just to get away. Just the two of us. We've not been away since um, September when we went on holiday. So it was just nice for Rick and I go away, have some us time together. And uh, we had a really nice time. We got home yesterday and uh, my bedroom's all been plastered now so I'm waiting for the plaster to dry and then we've got to start and decorate it so that's going to be fun. So I, while I was up in Berry, uh, it, up in, um, well we went shopping in Berry on Tweed, they have lots of antique vintage shops and I bought myself a few things to alter. So I've got this really nice frame with all the um, beading and so I've got that. I bought this. Uh, it did have little things in so I'm going to take that off and uh, I'm going to do something really nice with that. I bought that little frame. Isn't that cute? And then I went into the works and I got some boxes so I've got the six-sided box I've got this really nice box as well with a lid on with a little handle 
I got a tray, I got some canvases and I got this really nice heart plaque. So that's what I did, that's what I bought. And then I don't know if you saw the show on Tuesday the 12th on Create and Craft um, where Sue and Mandy were doing home decor, imagination crafts. And I bought some nice rice papers and I got some stamps. So I've got that stamp and that stamp. Um, and then um, I the stencils, all different stencils. There's how many stencils are there? I think there's four. Let's see if I can open it. And these are I think they're 10 by 10 canvases oh yeah so I've got that one which is the damask I've got the mandala i got the Moroccan which is really nice and i got the script and I love script in, um, in home decor so I've got them and I also got some I've got a varnish the velvety touch varnish and I also got I got two of each of this which are the hybrid acrylics from Cadence and that's the white and the black and um, the other products that I want probably did not come on so they're on my next list on the wish list um, what else I was going to say uh, this week I've got a really busy week I've got samples to make and get set in the post for Friday. I've got they've got to definitely be in the post for Friday. Um, and um, I've got mum and dad. I've got to go and see my mum and dad on Wednesday. And um, so I've got uh, as well as all other things that happen during the day or during the week. So uh, I've got a really really busy week. Um, so I'll uh, see you next time. Hello everybody, it's Sunday the 23rd of February and it is five past five. Um, just got back from uh, celebrating my mum's 80th. Uh, my sister and her sons organised a uh, a little party for her for family and friends and it was a big surprise she didn't hadn't got a clue so we went there and it was lovely to see my auntie and uncles and my cousins and my nephews and and that so that was really nice and my nieces as well so um and they've got children as well so it was it was a really good um it was a really good afternoon and uh, mum looked lovely so um there was a photographer there so um when i get the photographs i'll um, do a blog post and and um show you and it's the first time in what i would say 30 40 years at least that um a photograph of my mum and me and my sisters so uh, that'll be a nice photograph um for my mum to keep a nice um, keepsake and then there was a photograph of me and my sisters so it, it was a, a nice nice um, nice afternoon I've had a busy busy old week Monday and Tuesday were um, and last Sunday so last Sunday Monday and Tuesday I was busy with samples for TV show that's coming up um i think sometime in march so i had to get them done and out the way then wednesday it was shopping and then i spent the majority of the day with my dad i was doing things around his the house is is home for him and then we took him and bought him a new phone and then on thursday what did I do Thursday? Thursday I went and got weighed. I put a pound on, which isn't bad because I was away the weekend before I was away. And, um, you know, when you go away, your diet goes out the window. Um, I've been really good this week since I got weighed and my diet's gone out the window today. 
but that's just the way it is in this life so I'm not beating myself up about it I'll get back on track tomorrow um, what what else and then Thursday afternoon went to my mum's and t gave her a birthday card because mum's birthday was yesterday so um, I gave her a birthday card and um, I gave her uh, some money because um, I gave her a birthday present today at the party but she didn't know that there was a present as well so uh, I got her a nice um, amethyst and amethyst bracelet so that's what I got her for her birthday uh, Friday housework and I've done I've been doing some colouring with my ink lilies so this is what I did on this is what I did on Friday so I've still got the others to colour in um, and then yesterday afternoon uh, yesterday I did two videos and then in the afternoon I finished putting the face coat on the bedroom and sit walls and ceiling um, after the plaster once the plaster dried so tomorrow and Tuesday I'm going to be decorating my bedroom we've gone for cream and duck egg blue um, my fitted wardrobes are cream with a duck egg blue trim so I bought new um, we've got a new mattress because I've got one of those um, orthopedic beds so I bought a new mattress new headboard new bedding and um, we're not going to put back some shelves in the bedroom because they just collect dust with all the ornaments so I've decided I want it a bit minimal so, but I'm, I'm looking to do a nice uh, canvas for over the bed I've not decided what to do yet so I've got that to do so um, I'm going to finish off uh, can you believe it's nearly the end of February next a week today is March so uh, 29 leap year this year so I think I'll ask Rick to marry me <laughs> I wonder what he'd say now no <laughs> But I hope you're all well. Um, I hope um, you've not been affected too much by the storms we've been having here in the UK. It's been atrocious. Some people have lost their homes through flooding and, and I just, my heart really goes out to all those poor people. Um, I would be unbearable to live with if that happened here. I really would. Um, and my heart really does go out to you all if you are affected by flooding and that it's just heart wrenching isn't it so my thoughts go out to them um, and obviously the sad news of Caroline Flack who took her own life um, how 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 devastating I mean I know yes she's in the limelight so and I know there are lots of people who do take their own lives um, one of my nephews did that unfortunately quite a few years ago uh, 2010 not not good at all so um, so for all of you know families who have lost through suicides and whatever I do feel for you because we've been there Rick and I with the with a family member so on that sad note I hope you all have had a fabulous February. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos, for leaving such lovely comments and for most importantly supporting my YouTube channel. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And all that's left for me to say now is go away and enjoy March and happy crafting everybody. Hello everybody. It's the 27th of February and uh, it's uh, a cold day today. We've got blue sky, cloudy, cloudy sky with bl some blues here and there. We've had uh, hailstones and um, they have forecast snow but so far we haven't got any snow here yet. Um, had um, Busy week, a busy day on Monday. I um, decorated the bedroom. It's all decorated now. I'm just waiting for my new headboard to come. And um, I've got new bedding. Um, 
and that so my headboard should be here on Saturday I've got my new mattress which we're going to get sorted tomorrow put that on tomorrow get that um, sorted because we've bought um, one of the memory foam mattresses but on that it needs to sit for eight hours before you, you can get into bed anyway so that's what Rick's told me anyway so all the bedrooms done I'm absolutely over the moon looks really nice I was knackered on Tuesday because I ached in places I didn't know I had and I did plan to do it over two days but I did it all in the one day don't ask me how I didn't rush by any means I took my time and uh, but I got it all done so bedroom is done yesterday went to my dad's did his shopping and uh, I had to go to the doctors yesterday uh, afternoon um, what else did I have to do yesterday oh went to farm foods got some stuff for the freezer um, that's it really I've not done well to be honest Tuesday yeah Tuesday I made some cards for my blog and that's about all I've done really this week um, today obviously I don't craft but I've been doing a bit of colouring so you could say I've done a bit bit of crafting anyway so um, I've started doing module 2 I'll show you what I've done I've done the sandstones so she goes through this one with you and then I've coloured this one on my own so uh, so I've got that to do tomorrow is Friday and I'm giving the house a thorough cleaning I'm doing all my windows all my skating boards um, I'm going to um, sort the bedroom out to get the last of the bits and the stuff that I haven't put back in the bedroom because I don't want I'm going to sort them all out into a couple of boxes and Rick's going to take them to charity for me and uh, so that's tomorrow Saturday um, I'm having a weekend off from videoing this week because I've got my videos already done for next week so I'm having a, I'm going to have um, a colouring day all day Saturday um, I've got some colouring that I need to get done and I want to do on and then on Sunday I'm in Chesterfield so uh, I'll uh, love you and leave you for, t for February uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and uh, don't forget on Tuesday I had um, my February giveaway go live yarn giveaway so if you've missed it why not enter it um, if you've subscribed make sure that you've clicked the bell icon so that when my videos upload you'll get notification and apart from that just thank you very much for supporting my little YouTube channel I really do appreciate it until next month March winds I think we've had enough wind for February Take care everybody, happy crafting.